Catell a woman is trying to find a new place to call home after a fire ravaged her house over the weekend. She's asking the community to help her get back on her feet. Local News 8's Dennis Valera met her. He joins us live in Pocatello. So, Dennis, did the fire department ever find out just what happened yet? Jay, I was told investigators are still looking into it, but Linda Rothman suspects it was an electrical fire smoldering in her insulation for days before exploding into what you see before you. I caught her while she was salvaging what was left. A tough day for Linda Rothman and her landlords as they sift through what's left of her home. Everybody come over to visit. They called it Linda's little home because I had decorated it to where I had it made just for me. Inside, you can still see where she ate her food, where she washed her dishes, and where she put them when they were clean. Everything that belonged to me, everything that I had worked for, I've just got to start over and and try and find a place to live. The fire department says the house is a total loss. These doors, this table, you're going to be selling these? Yeah. Once Betty Kutch learned of her friend's devastation, she immediately thought of ways to help, like selling things around her house and even starting a benefit account at Westmark Credit Union. Nice people are hard to come by, so I just want to help her out because she really needs it right now. She needs our prayers as well because she's really struggling. It's pretty well wrecked, but I'm still going to get some of the recipes out of it. While Linda will have to replace almost everything, she's happy she'll have no trouble replacing her grandma's cookbooks. I can redo this one. Mm -hmm. I'll save anything Good. I can for my grandma. Now, as you can see, Linda is looking to replace everything in her home, furniture, clothing. I put on our website how to get in contact with Linda and Betty. Live in Pocatello, I'm Dennis Valera. All right, thank you, Dennis. What a tragedy there. Dennis also put some information about donating to the Westmark account that Betty set up.